Greetings, I'm Mr. Sean, and welcome to my channel. Today, we are going beyond the cookbook for two new recipes. Should I tease them to you? Juicy Bear Burger and Amber Seed Buns. Oh yes, I went there. Hope you enjoy. The recipe instructions will be down below in the description, so please check it out if you like it after seeing this video. And let give me some feedback if you do, please. Tell me how bad it was, or tell me what I should do to improve it. I'll be grateful for those comments. So, let's get into it. We begin with a small saucepan on the stove top, putting in one cup milk, quarter cup of butter, quarter cup of honey. Put it the stovetop on low heat. The goal here is to heat up the mixture, not to boil or simmer it. We just want to we just want the ingredients to combine and remove from the heat immediately. Check the temperature to make sure it's below 100 degrees. Any hotter will kill the yeast we use next. Into a mixing bowl, place two and one half teaspoon of yeast or one packet. I believe my liquid was over 100 degrees, so I took it out of the pot and let it sit in a bowl for a little while to cool off. Here I am placing it into the mixing bowl with the yeast, mixing them together, adding one egg, and one teaspoon of salt. Add one cup of flour into the bowl, stirring to combine. Then slowly add more flour until the mixture forms into a dough ball. It took about two and a half to two and three quarters cup of flour. Also, we want to the dough to be slightly sticky or tacky and definitely not smooth like you'd want white flour. Turn out the dough onto a lightly floured surface and knead for a few minutes. Place the dough into a lightly greased mixing bowl, cover it with a towel and allow it to rise for one hour in a warm place. After the time, punch the dough down lightly and divide it into eight or more portions, depending on how big you desire your buns. Prepare a baking sheet covered with parchment paper. Roll each portion into a ball and place the balls onto the baking sheet. Take a small pizza pan and flatten them Cover the buns with saran wrap. Allow them to rise for another 30 minutes in a warm place. Preheat your oven to 375 degrees at this point, if, it, if you know your oven takes a while to heat up. Now, you might wonder, well, what, where's the amber seed? Well, don't really have a comparable seed, but why not sesame seeds? Or almonds. Once the dough has risen, decorate as you like. 
Place the baking sheet into the oven for 10 to 16 minutes. For my oven, it was done at 10 minutes. So certainly check after eight. Juicy Bear Burger. I have two pounds of ground beef, one pound of hot Italian sausage. Place that into a bowl and mix a little bit. Then add one teaspoon onion powder, three clove garlic minced, two tablespoons Worcestershire sauce, a teaspoon of smoked salt, black pepper, and mix with your hands. Now I have a meat bowl, I have another, a second bowl on top of a scale because I want to measure out exactly four ounce patties. Also I have a cutting board with a silicone ring form to smash the patties into. I eventually got the smarter idea of adding parchment paper underneath so I can squish the burger onto the paper lift off the ring, and more easily control the Juicy Bear Burger. Turn it on your stovetop with a griddle or pan, or a grill outside, and cook them off to your desire. The whole point of this burger was not to make another hamburger. I wanted to make something that was a bear burger. Yes, there is bear meat. Don't know where I can find it myself, but I imagine very expensive. So I wanted to make something that did not taste like hamburger. So if you're disappointed because of that, well, it wasn't my endeavor. So here we are, slicing up the hamburger bun. I'm not going to tell you how to garnish your hamburger. I'm just going to do a very simple garnishings with some sharp cheddar cheese, some honey mustard, ketchup, some pickles, and enjoy the juicy bear burger. Let me know in the comments down below if you like this video. Let me know if you actually decide to do them. Please comment in your comments as well. Like this video. Please hit that big red subscribe button so you can catch up more on Beyond the Cookbook, unboxings, Let's Plays, Nightcore, and many more. Ciao!